Most of us on Vancouver Island live in a few cities spotted along the East Coast, such as Victoria, Nanaimo, and Campbell River, with populations in the tens of thousands. These beautiful communities have an incredible quality of life and are ideal for people who need to be closer to the city and on the grid for their work and life. But what about the people who want to live outside of the cities and towns? Flourish in uninhabited forests, thrive along virgin coastlines, and cultivate a life among the coastal mountains. One of these days, I hope to be one of these people, but for now, I just need to vicariously live through my clients and help them find the perfect piece of paradise for their private retreat. Buying a rural property is a significant investment in self-sustainability, which removes you from supporting municipal services such as gas, sewers, and water. These are replaced with wood-burning stoves, septic systems, and fresh water wells. Many people make this investment in their future, and so can you. It just takes the right guidance and the right know-how. But before we get started, if you have a second, please give us a like or subscribe. This lets us know what we're doing, you like, and you'll want to see more of it. Now, without any further ado, let's start talking about the factors you need to consider to buy a rural property here on Vancouver Island. When you're considering buying a property in British Columbia, there are five essential things you want to confirm before moving forward with any type of purchase. In the contract to purchase and sale for real estate, we refer to these as conditions or subjects, which are as follows. Number one is subject to financing, and this is assuming that you are doing financing and not buying the property for cash. Number two is subject to being approved for a homeowner's policy from an insurance company. Number three is subject to an inspection by a certified professional. Number four, subject to title review. And number five, subject to a property disclosure statement which you can get from a seller here in British Columbia. These vital subjects should be used for both urban and rural properties, but you need to go the extra mile when you're buying a rural property. Wood stoves, septic systems, and water wells all need individual contract subjects for inspections to ensure you're buying a property that is both habitable and insurable. Now first, let's talk about wood stoves, which are an excellent source of heat that have become very efficient over the years. As long as you have trees surrounding you, you'll always have a source of fuel. Despite what many people say, this stuff is entirely renewable. If you grew up with one of these in your home, you'll know the feeling of this radiant heat. It's almost primal. But if you want home insurance, you're going to need to have something called a wet inspection. This stands for Wood Energy Transfer Technology and is required to be certified by a professional before a homeowner can get coverage to be bound to the property. This inspection ensures that a wood stove or fireplace has proper clearances from the surrounding combustible materials and is constructed in a way that won't cause any hazards to the occupants of the home. These typically cost around five to $600 and must be completed by an inspector with a wet certification. Now that we're nice and warm, we need to stay hydrated. Good water wells produce clean, fresh, and delicious water that will never taste like chlorine. It's always available and it's free like it should be. Think of it like having your own personal spring in your backyard. Now, there are three aspects of these systems you need to consider when you're buying a rural property with a well. Number one is the mechanical systems. Number two is the well itself. And number three is the composition of water. These mechanical systems include pressure tanks, filtration systems, and water pumps, among other components. These systems are needed whether you have a drilled well or an artesian well, which is a completely different conversation, but they need to be maintained to ensure a steady flow of earth juice into your home. Now, in the well itself, you need to consider the water production from this, and it has multiple variables that you need to consider, including things like gallons per minute, the sustained rate of flow, and the refresh rate. These factors also fluctuate throughout the seasons as groundwater can become more scarce in the summer months when drought occurs. Finally, the well's water itself needs to be tested for bacteria, mineral content, and other particulate. This testing usually is done in Victoria or Vancouver, and it can take anywhere from a week or two to get the results. Now, inspections of these types and all the aspects that go into the water wells for a home can cost anywhere between $800 and $1,500, depending on what's required. 
Now it's time to get dirty and talk about the disposal of human waste. Um, septic systems treat and disperse wastewater for properties not connected to municipal sewer systems. These systems, the installation and the maintenance are typically regulated by Island Health. Now, I don't want to oversimplify, but basically your sewage is pumped into a septic tank that consists of a couple different chambers that trap the scum and the sludge in this tank and then it distributes the sewage into a septic field or what's called a drainage field. These have been used for decades and have become very efficient. Septic systems have alarm systems that even warn you in the event of a backup so you don't have to worry about anything going wrong without a warning. They only require pumping every about two, three, maybe every five years depending on how many occupants are in the home. Good thought to point out. And you'll be able to save a bundle on taxes because you're not connected to the municipal systems. When these are inspected, the tanks are accessed through things that are called riser lids and then need to be pumped out to check for the tank's integrity. Always a good idea to look if there's any cracks or any sort of issues. The distribution box then is checked along with the drain lines using what's called a CCTV camera, which they run down the lines to ensure there's no clogs or objects that are impeding the flow out to the septic field or, or drainage field. Having the tank pumped and then the septic system and field inspected costs around $800, give or take. It actually depends on the disposal cost of the materials that they pump out of the tank. There are so many things to consider though when you're having one of these systems inspected and you should understand when you have one, you can't just flush anything down the system. Cleaning chemicals can harm the bacteria in the tank that breaks down your waste. I won't get into all the other problems that can exist with older systems, but be aware, one of these inspections are absolutely crucial when you're purchasing a rural property. Now, there are always other factors to consider when buying a rural property, but these are always case specific and different properties will require different levels of scrutiny. Don't romanticize the idea of living remotely without considering the added responsibility. Even if you don't move out into nature, you'll always be surrounded by mountains, trees, water, and wildlife here on Vancouver Island. And if you want to be in a secluded area, you're never further than five minutes away from finding your own personal paradise. Like, look at where I am right now. With that in mind, I hope you get to live the island life soon. And if you want to learn more about doing so, I would definitely check out this video right here or this video right here.